and not to catch you, but just to bring uh, uh, you and our viewers uh, mm -hmm. an update on the situation that's happening in Abu Sokai uh, okay, that okay. I mentioned okay. a while ago. There's uh, tension, that's brewing, military presence, we're told. Joseph Akabla is on the ground. Joseph, what can you report? <laughs> So we are live from Abosokan here, and I have the MCE for Ablekuma Central, Mariama Mui. I got the name right? Yeah. Um, we realize there's a bit of an exercise that is taking place here. If you could explain to us what exactly is happening. Yeah. Thank you very much. Like you said, my name is Honorable Mariama Kali Amui, MCE for Ablekuma Central Municipal Assembly. We are here today in the first place in, 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 in memory of June 3rd disaster around circle, circle and its environs. We want to set this day so that uh, neighbors, I mean Ghanaians, should know that we should clean our uh, environment to get rid of uh, the filth that will go and choke our gutters to bring the disasters. That's why uh, specifically we set today for this, this uh, uh, cleanup exercise. But in the actual fact, we have a decongestion to on this, uh, about so kind, uh, I should say, their highway is this one. Uh, in fact, for some time now, they've, uh, uh, I mean, engaged their business up to the road, in the middle of the road. They've mounted um, uh, umbrellas and, and uh, containers, small, small ones, selling their wares like mini shops. You come, you, 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 you ask them to go back and problems and all that. So for almost for more than one month, We've been coming to, to, to talk to them and let them know we are coming to decongest the place. So we've given them enough time. In conjunction with RCC and Abosokai um, Spare Parts Dealers Association, we are doing this. And they've had enough uh, education on this. So you can see the people are not resisting. They are helping in the cleanup and the decongesting. That's purposely why we are go doing this. We want to decongest this place. Then gradually, there is a place for them. We are arranging when it's ready. We are doing it gradually at uh, Dowenya or Afienya, to these two places. We are, we are trying, the RCC is trying to acquire a place there to put us something like a spare parts village so that uh, we'll get the city, we'll get uh, the city clean, devoid of uh, uh, this mess. You know there are parts when it gets into our drains and all that, it brings a lot of problems. So purposely, that is why you see this thing happening. And, and you say that people are in agreement, and I'm asking this because earlier we had interacted with not the leadership, some of the ordinary spare parts dealers here who said they've not agreed to be relocated from this particular place. And so, is it a conversation that, in your opinion, has gone down to the ordinary people? Yeah, it has gone down with the ordinary people. But you see, my brother, uh, in everything you have uh, people who uh, say uh, we don't want it. But you have to take the interests of the, of the area, the government, and everything. You have to take so many things into consideration. This place is choked. And should any uh, uh, disease break up here, and that would be, uh, it will be very bad for the country. You see? And even the shop owners, these guys who are on the roads, they used to buy from their shops to sell on the roads, you see? And they are complaining, they are not buying, their sales are going down. And these um, scrap dealers too, you know, excuse me to say, some of them go about stealing people's car, car parts, they come and sell to some of them, alleging, some of them, that they go and polish it and sell it. The people are getting the, 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 the impression that now Abosoka is, is selling fake spare parts. You see, this, this is also part of what they are trying to uh, de debunk from the minds of people that uh, they are not selling uh, fake parts. So by driving these uh, spare part, scrap dealers and the uh, awam traders here, awam spare parts dealers here, then they, they will get their clear view into the shop and maybe just in front of their shop, but in the streets, we, we are not going to allow it again. That's why this massive decongestion and cleanup is coming on. We will leave uh, some of our um, task force members to be checking uh, uh, the road so that they will not come back. So they'll be, they'll be here for, they'll be stationed here for how long or it will be for as long as possible? Yeah, as, as long as possible. Like we did at Bayema. Then when uh, we finished with the uh, scrap dealers over there, two, three days, they started coming back. Though they didn't erect anything there, they started coming back 
And in fact, we had to send our, our task force there, and up to today, they are not there. You see, so we have to, I mean, sacrifice to uh, find something to cater for the guys to be here, up to the people will get to know that uh, really we are serious. That time they said, oh, they are tiabre. No, this one we are serious. This time round we are serious because it's bringing a lot of issues that is above the uh, government cry. But, but as it stands now, the new location that you, you mentioned that you, you intend to relocate them, it's not, it's not ready. And so those who are taking off the streets, where are they supposed to go to? Well, it, it, uh, those we are taking off the streets, we, there is, we've talked to the, uh, 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 the executives. You see, they, they can manage in front of, I mean, uh, behind the gutters. We just want the road to be free. Oh, you, if you had come here yesterday also, you will see where yeah, we are. actually seen the place. They are always on the road, even virtually in the middle yeah, of the road. Yeah, so we are just directing them to manage and go uh, uh, behind the gutters. So that by the time we finish with Afienya or Dawena there, they will all get a bigger place to, to, to go there. It will not be easy, but at, at least we must try for them to see that we, we for once we are really serious. You see, yeah. And, and you are not worried about the possible political implications. I mean, we, we listen to the people, they say that, look, they don't want to, exactly, they don't want to move from this place. Oh, yeah, that's what that one, you get it. But when the political head, they, they get to know that you are doing a good job, people will go and talk or report, they will say, because the regional minister is the, the, the political head in the region. And he is leading this in conjunction with uh, the, the assembly, myself and the ex executive. So there's, there's no cause for alarm. I mean, fin finally, those two locations you mentioned, Dowenya and Fienya, are they not too far away from town? That is the argument that some people have made. Uh, they want to get spare parts, they want to just come to Abosoka. Yeah, uh, you see, as we are now, somebody who come from Ada, we, I want a particular spare pass. He said this in Abosoka. They come and buy. You see, it, it will not be easy. That's why we said we are going to do it gradually. And, and the purpose of that area, in Accra, central Accra like this, you will never get a spacious place now. You will never get a, a spacious place. But those areas, you have a vast land, so, uh, government lands and all that. We arrange with lands commission and all that, and you will get it for them. You go to other countries, you have a, a, a spare parts village and all that. So uh, it will not be easy for them, but the shop owners that they buy from to sell, the they, they, uh, thermal port is nearer to Athena than here. You get my point. So I think uh, uh, gradually they will get used to. Thank you very much, madam. And so you heard uh, uh, Mariama Mwish is MC for Ablekuma Central explaining the exercise that is taking place here. And so you can see the military vehicle that is coming uh, towards us. The soldiers are here to uh, provide protection to ensure that the exercise uh, goes on. And so it's an exercise in two phases. The first is that they are cleaning the place and you made it, you heard they link it to the June 3 flood and fire disaster. Then the second aspect of it is the fact that uh, there is a decongestion exercise. On a normal day when you come over to this particular road, there's a road here at Abosoka and the road is often busy. You have a lot of spare parts delays on this particular stretch but today they are all not present because the place has been cleared to enable uh, the decongestion takes place. And so first the cleaning and secondly is the fact that they are going to ensure that people should not uh, remain on this particular road. And so he says they can sell before the gutter but not after the gutter. Let's interact a bit with some of those who are Mbache Frozen. Mary, Mary. Mary. Oh, you know, if 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 you know, and to you are not going to be able to If you are not to be able to do this, you are not going to be able to do this. If you are not going to If you are not going to be able to do this, you are not going to be able to do this. If you are not going to be able to do this, you are not going to be able to do this. If you are not going to be able to do this, you are not going to be able to do this. If you are not going to be able to do this, you are not going to be able to do this. If you are not it's a custom and about your pack. I will not betray the knock. I read the Oma Mom Castle, more yes, sort of woman in the cabbage here. Ten Diana Hana Choku. 
Enti no dia ma hanu choku ni fri stock when it's now don't cast e be go abi be no. E no na ma ni na bala sa. Thank you very much. Uh, so you heard him there first. He makes the points about the fact that he thinks more could be done to ensure that uh, the area is clean. Then he also talks about, uh, I asked him about what is actually taking place with regards to the decongestion where they are not supposed to be on the road. And he says that, well, he agrees with it because it blocks the road and it makes movement very difficult here. Uh, let's move a bit further. Uh, there are some more people that we can interact with here about uh, the situation and what they make of what is happening here uh, and so if you can interact with some of them here and ask them what exactly what they make of what is happening here boss morning let's say good morning uh but what are the and in terms of uh the matches is here mom but according to monto on your man oh oh james and of course i'm gonna say you're going to finish the i was all kind so no i'm gonna say a bit of my coin on my tony but i need to do one i back when i'm gonna hear boys be a show why power why power coin when i saw my coin ba won gata na chi dia mfi se carbon bi eni ho omo de won kan omo no won wo kwen no be ka na be park no me de ma adwen de nka me no mo e de nka de boys no nti ase no omo mfiri e kwen na nka sen mo no mo nko gata na chi ene de nka ye ne mo mba sugar kra me wo wo ye bola no ho no se me bi sai mpeni fo no se nti bola na bo so me bi ana wo twi bi ye be yi ana se ye be gana sa de di kan ba ko no de to so mi no nti se ye be na wo ho se me ndidi me ya me gina he me ya djuma abaso kan me didi no pye wata no me gya to wo hu no me gya to wo ye mpenifu ahun se na ye be gata mu ndi ya fa soldiers police abegu ha se o mo medi enso se de be ya ye betimi amo e hun ye yi gata no na de no mo nya he she bi nto wo se ne police nam ha soldier nam ye das bi so wa o di das bi no wo be ya to fam bi ya na ya che wo me fi se no mo mu e be boa se ne se ye nto ye niemu na business na nya slow sa amren ko bi ato ade be ko wan bile but because of say yeah, you know, market is nice, slow. We be on time today. We be as soon as now. Nini na na? Emma market is nice, cool. And this year, me ni ba na budget as an open me ni be me dem etu ya. Na na ma dodge dodge as eni man da kwam pepe pa. Me fi say me de kamadu na kebe bo apa. And this year, me ni phone iti ya. No one pay na so forty years. So just bet me di so na police bet me di so ni yeyi gata mu. Na gata na kasa ni de das me asisi wo. Das me na kasa ni de so ya chwe ho ya on kolabi ho moto moto subscribe. Camera fix you. Into any pan ba, na so what the ba, no be two at the end. Kwa na camera picking. Na zia di fu aye ko ma ko trini omo omo ni mo. No mo swa follow up. No ma hu say no adi okotono wo agboboroshi. Okotono ha ni akoti ni pano. Ma hu na ma bibi na mre ye pepe pepe. And this year chill be agboroshi. No awe fast adi we. Ni a born a car ebi a mfana say thousand Ghana next time me. Me ni me ang kasa me catch me ni aso ukwa e beju thousand gan o unkofa maha e no di auto e no si aji ni two thousand next time be fa na o mfa das bi besi o because camera ri am fesi fesi ne di di e di di mi di ma ju di e be ni ne aye ni china e ye mogu e be ye akwa ba na da chen wasa be interview ni akade same thing atremo di me sremo e da wasa be brezo thank you very much and so first uh, he made a point that he agrees with the decongestion exercise relative to the road that they are moving them from and not allowing the spare parts dealers to sell along the road so you can move away from the road and sell beside the road but he has some reservations about the cleanup exercise itself in that he says once they are done cleaning and taking the refuse from the gutter the refuse tends to remain by the street and he's also raising issues about what happens beyond today once they are done with this particular exercise what happens next because he says the military have come so people are complying people are assisting with everything that is taking place but what happens next which it will be sustainable to ensure that the place remains clean is of major concern to them and that is how come we are I'll interview another person here boss morning uh, good morning I hope you are doing well fine I'm doing very well uh, what do you make of the exercise that is ongoing currently we understand it's in two phases first is the cleanup and the second is they are trying to enter decongestion ensuring that you don't come onto the road to sell you know every society where there's no discipline we live like animals because when you go to the animals kingdom there's order over there now coming to the exercise we have been doing each and every month or three months time when you live in a community as a human being there's a saying say cleanliness is next to godliness so we have to clean our environment quarterly or mentally that's why you see us doing this but the other issue is twofold. One, you're not supposed to be selling on the road. They said there will be a tax force here to ensure that you don't do that. And secondly, they intend to relocate the traders here to a different location because this place is congested. You know, it is a laudable idea. 
Because I have been staying in South Africa for a while. Before I came back, concerned about street, street, street trading, Central Joburg, you find it over there. When you go to Captain Park, you find it over there. Lumpapa, it's over there. That's right, it's over there. But let's take this place, for instance. If the deep congestion should be made, first we have to think of the people who are here. You are, they are living with their family. Now, when you suck him from the place he's selling, what will be his end? He'll get into stealing and robbery. In South Africa, when you go there, like the stores have been stretched over there, they'll give about five meters from the shop, they will erect this, this type of cross barrier. Do you see this net over here? Uh -huh. They will use it, mount it over there, and they divide it into people. So people will be hanging their goose over there and sitting behind it. And if that application can be applied over there, it will help us of the decongestion. People are working on the roadside. Now, before you move a person from the roadside, where are you going to put the person? It's a question. So they are taking them to either Afirinya or Dowenya. Those are the two locations and they are the considering. The quiet side is a laudable idea. We have to settle at a place. Before I came here, I overheard that SCC was allocated to uh, Abosu Khan people. But investigation I uh, made let me know that that place was given to Kukumpe people, that Melonian city. So if our leaders today are fighting for us to be, to have a place which we can be compounded together, it's a laudable idea and it's welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much there. I uh, have another gentleman here. Hello sir, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we have a call. Boko, good morning. Dear cousin, who are you doing with the BBI Dana Kwemano? Oh, I did hear that. I did new thing. You know, I bet one man to cross him. The BBI. But one, I did have a call. A man for doing say, I soldier for one 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 one. Yeah, to be yeah yeah. I'm a police for I'm a police for bar. I I I did let me hear the BBI. Now, me am you say? Me who say I'm saying get a car with the minister or the soldier for the police for any other security service. A cleaning all the guitar crap. And to our barber so can I was a member of our member here being a proud. What does it? And then we have such a phone, I have a private diabo so can I have memory. And to some one of my chairs, no more Cassie Emperor, yeah, 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 and the beer, and say no mountain. Not for the air. Nafi, there, there to see me, and you say, be him with fear, say, now, yes, my monton, I did so a war, quine him, because maybe I came out coming fast, say, not quine me, say, and that's Joseph Akable live from Abosewokan here in Accra. Emphasis on Accra because there are plenty of Abosewokans in the rest of the country. Uh, so we had reports of military presence at Abosewokan, which was clashing uh, with earlier conversations about a relocation exercise. But Joseph Akable has been on the ground. MC clarifies it's actually a decongestion exercise to coincide with the sixth anniversary of the June 3 fire uh, disaster. It was rain and fire. So that's the exercise that's going on. But uh, sellers are also sharing their thoughts in terms of the sustainability of this operation. After all, not too long ago, we heard about a similar one in the central business district of Accra. And in less than two weeks, people were back where they were relocated. Uh, so that conversation is still very much relevant. I mean, just wrapping up, what do you make of what is happening? Well, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were an optimist. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, you're giving up? No, I'm not. I'm not giving up. Uh, we need to do a lot as Ghanaians. It's all about leadership and the will to enforce the law make sure that uh, you know uh, whatever we do is not selective political influence people you know using their co political connections to overturn or to do things you know which doesn't help the society uh, 
the politicization of various associations. Uh, politicians get involved. I mean, if you go to Abu Sulkai now, I remember run up to the elections, leadership of, uh, hmm. you know, association, I mean, doing, I mean, things that they are supposed to, they are not supposed to. Now who calls some? Oh, no, what I'm saying is that, I mean, the, the people call some. Is it the people or is yeah. it the politicians? You see, who is the politician, my sister? <laughs> Who is the politician? You see, sometimes when I go to church and I say, oh, the politician, the politician, I say, look, last week I was in church, I told them, look, if you go to a marketplace and nine people are fighting, right? A lot, 10. I mean, uh, people are quarreling or something. Nine of them went to church the previous day, <laughs> the previous Sunday. It is the same people you find in the churches who are the politicians. You understand? So if, if we point, you know, we are pointing fingers as if the politician is coming from somewhere from, from, from Jupiter. It's the same people, the same family, the same people around us. You understand? So if there's anything wrong, let's blame ourselves. Well. You understand? And because, because we, have, we have elected leadership, they are blamable. Because they wield all the powers, you know, to enforce, to make sure that we do the right thing. You understand? Like the soldiers, you know, uh, uh, at the border right now, somebody give an order for them to go to the place. That's leadership. Whether it is right or wrong, it's a leadership decision. Oh, but it's a clean-up exercise. Certainly, but, you know, if, if we have to bring in soldiers before we clean our environment, then we are in trouble. Hmm. As I said, uh, let us, let's, let's go back to our roots. The, 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 in those days, in the years, the years, when the Kole Lagoon was clean, what did we do that we are not doing now? What are some of the beliefs? You understand? I was talking about the fact that growing up uh, until age uh, 14, 15, I was told that if you go out and defecate, and uh, unfortunately, even bushfire, or somebody sets fire into the feces, you will die. So you will not, you will not, you will not, you will not attempt to do it. You understand? You will not attempt to do it. Uh, when you go to the bathroom, they say you don't talk, you don't whistle, you yeah. don't whatever, because the detergent will enter. They say you don't, uh, 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 we don't wash in streams with soap. You can go and bath, but then you don't take soap, you don't take any foreign substance. Contamination. You understand? Internet came along, so... Yes, yeah, but you see... But it, well, say something to your child, they'll just go on Google and Google. say, fact, Daddy, yes. see, so, but but that's see, not what Google says. Yes, you see, but the point is that, uh, uh, unfortunately, I have to say this, you know, anytime, you know, we lack understanding, when we cannot explain the, the, the situation, we ascribe it to some spiritual something somewhere. And that is the problem. Because the issue about you not whistling, you not defecating outside, you know, the, you see uh, uh, bath, you know, uh, soap in the, the, the streams and water. Can be explained. Mm. Can be explained okay. with science. Now that we, I mean, we have a, 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 a advance in science, we can explain mm. that the detergent to kill the fauna and flora mm. in the, the river body. Mm. Uh, when you defecate outside, it rains. It will wash it into and to cause cholera. Yeah. I mean, these are things that we can. So we need to marry our traditional systems and. You know, uh, it, 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 it's also going to enhance our health. Right. In, in, in That's a good point. Kind of environment. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, we have to wrap up. Just on a lighter note, you are a Church of Pentecost member. Yes. Because of all the works that the church has been doing Very recently, well. some people have said, oh, just give the country to the Church of Pentecost. They will manage it. Uh, <laughs> no <you>. comments. <laughs> <laughs> My guest, Ebenezer Oklite Telabi, <laughs> is Member of Parliament for uh, Lower Manya Krobo. He's ranking member on the Environment Science and technology, technology and innovation uh, innovation yes you've innovated science mm. technology and innovation so we will be holding you mm. we want to see what you're innovating on that no, we, 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 no, we, are over, we oversight back. policies and programs mm. you know that leads to innovation mm. we oversight Okay, it, but you, so you don't come up with innovations? No, 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 no. Okay, so are you no. doing your work the same old way or you have innovative ways of doing it? We have innovative ways of doing it. Uh, yeah, we will be testing that. Thank, Thank you, you sir. <laughs>